Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install an electronic ignition kit onto this 1972 BMW R75 5. So just doing an unboxing video here. Um, pretty awesome. Comes with Loctite. Some of you might, might have this at home already, but whatever. Um, obviously the wires. This is the actual pickup for the electronic ignition. Uh, the advantage of this is it's mounted to your crankshaft as opposed to your camshaft. So you're going to get a much more um, accurate pickup. Plus it's like super, super high quality. Everything's super, super high quality. Really, really impressed. Um, this is your advance, we'll say like the, uh, the brains of the operation. Real small, um, easy to kind of tuck away. Super, super, super um, just honestly super all around quality and everything and then this goes on to the end of your crankshaft like the nose of your crankshaft and this is what um, this little optical pickup here is going to sense so it's going to sense that little gap there and he, like i can't stress this enough how much of an improvement this brings so if you have an airhead at home you can uh, just pop your seat i'm assuming you know how to do that and uh, go ahead, remove your tank. You're gonna have to undo these two wing nuts under here and um, undo your fuel line connections. And then remove our little grounding bolt here. So make sure we disconnect our ground. We're gonna be removing that front cover next and we don't wanna short out, short out, short out our diode board. We're just gonna loosen up these three five millimeter Allens, one here, one here, and one at the bottom there. And then we can mount our little control box here. Um, like I said before, it's kind of the brains behind the operation. And I'm mounting it with the little supplied Velcro strip. We can then install our optical pickup. So in doing so, we're going to be removing our two flathead screws here. So I have the two four millimeter head Allen bolts uh, screwed down on top of this the plug here, the plate that's under it. So it goes the plate and then the pickup is on top of that. And we're just gonna torque both of these down and make sure you put the, uh, um, the supplied Loctite on those threads. So, and then we're gonna undo our center crank nose bearing bolt. So this is a six millimeter Allen. And as you, uh, I should say like tight, tighten this, you're gonna be rotating the engine. So what I like to do is just put it on a compression stroke right there and then just kind of palm this ratchet and then you'll be able to you'll be able to break it loose. Once we get this undone, we are going to be installing this uh, little spacer here that's going to have our our little plate that is going to communicate with the optic. So I will put the supplied lock washer on there as well as just a very small amount of the supplied Loctite. That's gonna go through there like that and right back where it came from. Another thing to mention is uh, if you have any problems or anything on your bike, I do offer a service like a consulting service where I will kind of help you troubleshoot and help you kind of guide you along the way for troubleshooting and fixing your bike. You can sign up for that. Um, in the using the join button down below and now we can route our wires from our optical pickup So what I do is kind of come down and just follow the wiring harness like the factory wiring harness We're gonna go behind the diode board here and then we can kind of pull this grommet out from the engine This part can kind of get a little tricky. This is our harness for our optical pickup and I just like to use a 90 degree pick tool and I'm just going to uh, get underneath this grommet for the harness, pull the grommet back and then just thread our wires up through it. Just like that. And get our harness and everything all situated so that's how it'll lie. And it looks just professional and factory. So then on top of our um, little brain box here, they have a key. So pin one is right there. 
pin six is on the other side of the world over here. So ignition coil positive, we're gonna use uh, the supplied red wire, the little length of red wire. We're gonna put that all the way down on pin number six. Ignition coil negative on pin one, we're gonna use the black wire that was supplied. In pin two, ground to frame, we're gonna use the brown wire. And that, that leaves us with three terminals here. And on those three terminals, number three, sensor brown. So we're gonna put the brown wire from our optic in pin three, and then we're gonna do sensor yellow. So the yellow wire in pin four, and then the white wire in pin five. So now the black wire here that we have connected to terminal one in our little computer there can replace where this wire is. So now this is another advantage of points electric system here. So, or sorry, a points ignition system. So this right here is coming from the condenser and we can unhook this and just kind of leave it just right there unhooked. And if in the very slim chance this were to ever fail, you can literally unplug the negative, plug this back in, and you will then have your uh, factory mechanical ignition system. So this bike being in a really, really good condition, original bike, I honestly don't feel that bad putting this electronic ignition on just because it can be reverted back super, super easily. So we're just gonna literally unhook this, leave that hooked up, but unhooked, if that makes any sense, we'll just kinda, who knows, just kinda tuck it away in there. And then um, we'll go ahead, we're gonna cut this black wire, and with one of the supplied um, connectors here, we're gonna strip that back, crimp it, and uh, install it on there like that. And then we could literally just plug that right into the connector that we just unhooked. We can then hook our brown wire from terminal two up to the frame ground on the coil with the other wires um, from the main wiring harness. And another bonus of this kit is like, literally you are modifying the wiring harness in no way whatsoever. And then the red wire is gonna go right here next to the green on the um, coil positive. And now we can go ahead, reinstall our gas tank, close our seat, reinstall our toolkit. Basically what we're gonna wanna do now is we're gonna start by uh, setting up the ignition. And then we'll use a 10 mil and reinstall our ground screw here. So we can then turn the front uh, nose of the crankshaft with that six millimeter ratchet. And we're gonna do so until we, uh, you'll have to remove this little plug. Um, we're gonna do so until you see the OT mark in the flywheel there. That's the F mark the S mark, and then if we keep going, right there is the T, so you can just see that T stamped into the flywheel. So we're gonna put it, there's a little, sorry, a little notch right there, and we're just lining that T up with that notch. So now we put a little bit of, a little splash of Loctite on that, those um, little set screws there. We're gonna install that onto that billet aluminum piece on the front of our engine we installed and um, then we're gonna center center it in our um, optic right here and you can see that I'll turn the key on here so you can see this red light that just turned on so we're gonna rotate our uh, pickup you can see right there is right where the light, I'm like flickering the light back and forth. So we're gonna go right where the light turns off. And then I'm gonna tighten up these uh, two Allen screws. So I just wanna get that light just ever so slightly flickering. 
We can then begin to start this thing. So we have that set up really well. Um, right now I have my timing light here hooked up. So I'm gonna start the bike and I'm gonna be looking in that window right there. I'm gonna be looking for the S mark at idle and then up at around 4,000 RPM or when the engine's at full advance, we're gonna be looking for the F mark. Started right up. So I'm then going to be looking for the S mark. I'm not sure what you'll be able to see on camera. So now looking in this timing window with my timing light at idle, I can see the S mark is perfectly in the window and up around 4,000 RPM, the F mark is right in the window. Everything up here looks absolutely perfect. My points here are fully functioning and can be hooked up at any time. And my electronic ignition under here is just buzzing away. So now we're gonna tighten up those two uh, set screws and get our front cover back on. But I can just tell right now how much better this thing is running. Then reinstall our timing cap. Unhook our battery ground wire here. We're gonna have to unhook this obviously again to uh, put the front cover back on because we do not wanna ground out the diode board on the front cover. And then reinstalling this front cover and uh, we're gonna have to make sure that this rubber um, protective thing for the points gets uh, put into that groove right there on the front cover. And then our uh, tachometer cable is nice and um, not pinched or up, uh, tucked off to the side. Make sure we're not gonna pinch any wires. And then obviously hook our battery ground back up. Thank you so much for watching. And if this video helped you out in any way, please consider hitting that join button um, joining my channel costs as little as like a dollar a month and it really, really helps me out. Kind of keeps this channel going. Also, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you want to see other videos like this, let me know in the comments what you want to see. If you've got an airhead at home and you um, really want to do something on it, but you really don't have the confidence to tackle it yourself and you want me to make a video, I'm always looking for new ideas. So let me know down below and as always, have a safe ride.